Now let's see about SAP ABAP modularization. In ABAP, the modularization means breaking the ABAP program into a small modular unit, also known as the logical units. And we can place our code into a small block instead of writing the whole code inside one complete program. So we can see an example here. If this is my main program, so I can include my code into different include program like top header selection screen and the code block I can divide into a small unit like get data and display data. This is a sample of modularization. So what is need of modularization? It is very easy to read a program code if you have divided into the program model. It is very easy to maintain the code. You can make reuse of code either locally or globally. This means that if one code of piece, some statement, you have to use multiple times in the program. So instead of writing the same code multiple times, we can write only one time and you can call them multiple times in the program. So this will avoid the redundancy. Now what are the modulation techniques? The modulation techniques are the include program, subroutines, function modules, and the macros. The include programs we can create in S38 and we can use the same include program in different main programs. It cannot be executed independently. Every include program must be included into at least one main program. Syntax to call an include program is like include and get the program name. Second comes the subroutines. Subroutines are the procedures that we define in the app program and we can call generally internally in the same program multiple times based on our requirement. The syntax for is form and end form and between this form and form we can write our code logic and here after form we have to give the subroutine name and we can also pass the parameter to this, uh, to this subroutine. Passing the parameter is optional. The next is a function model. The function models are created in the function builder that is SC37. There are thousands of function models provided in SAP that we can use directly in our program or we can create our own function model. For example here, I want to transfer, I want to convert the first character of any string to uppercase and this I want to do in many program. So instead of writing the code in every program, we can simply create a function model with S37 and this is SAP standard function model is given and once you create that logic, that block, we can call this FM into many program. The last one is the macro. If you want to use same statement multiple times in the program, so you can include them in a macro and you can call in that program. The main difference between the function model include program and subroutine and the macro is the macro can be used only in the program in which it is defined. This means that if I have this program and this is the definition of a macro. If I have defined this macro in this program, I cannot use this in any other program. Instead of this, if we have the include program, this include program we can include in any other program. So this is the main difference on the macro and the other subroutines. Now just have a look at the program with different kind of include subroutine and macros. So in this program, mosaic ud underscore adapt modularization. So what I have done, instead of writing the code in a straight way, I have divided code into different blocks. My data declaration I have done in this top include, so that I can use this include in any other program. In real time, we might have thousands lines of code for the data declaration that we want to use in any other program. So we can simply write that in a include program. Similarly, I have other include program that is the header information. 
so in this i have written the code like u line that is the horizontal line i want to print the date time and user who is login and this i want to use in every program like here this is modelization and i have other program that is modelization one so here also i use the same code as i include we can see as top if you want to create any new include what we have to do just type here include get the include name as and to create this include program double click create yes by default you can see the include here include name save local object you can write our code here activate the code now this include program we can use in any program okay second method to create a new include program is instead of inside going a code we can simply create from here this screen let's say z include create and by creating we have to select here the type as include program so in this way we can create an include program in sg 38 or we can use them in any other pro, uh, any other program the second is the subroutine let's say in this example my requirement is from the selection screen i will pass the amount and i will pass the discount amount so my requirement is i want to convert this amount into word and i want to display two times one is the i want to print the original amount value which i entered here into word and second i will give some discount percentage here i again want to display the word i want it to word after applying this discount amount so for this i have created a subroutine that is the perform amount to word this is a subroutine name using the amount which is given on selection screen and changing to a local variable okay and this is initial value before applying the percentage of discount now once i apply the percentage of discount again i want to print the value into word so this means that i want to call a function module which will convert my amount into word two times okay so instead of writing this block two times we can simply create a form routine and we can add a logic here and this form routine you can call two times here you can see i call is two times one and two this is called the modulation technique using variables here the variables are optional even if the code is not reusable always divide the code into a small program now i also want to print the values before applying discount and after applying discount so for this i use i have defined a macro for defining macro the syntax is define give a macro name and inside the macro name write our statement those are and one and two those are called the placeholders okay so now when you want to call this macro in the program simply write here macro name that is print values now here i have two variables that is ampersand one and ampersand two this means that whenever i'm calling this macro i have to pass two variable so here i'm passing p amount and the word now same macro i have called again here okay and based on the amount which is given i'm converting into word using this function model if you want to know how to call a function but this is a standard function model which we can see in the sc37 if you go to function builder that is called as sc37 click on display here you can see the import import means the input which we are giving to the function model and based on the input which is given to function model there is source code written by sap 
and we'll get the output in the exporting parameter. We'll learn more about function model in my next session. And if you want to call this function model in our back program, so what we have to do here, click on pattern. In the call function, we have the function model name, press enter, and we can pass the same importing parameter in this FM, in this code block. So when you call the FM inside the program, the importing parameter becomes the exporting. If you see here, here my amount is the importing parameter. Okay, but when you call in the program, that becomes the exporting parameter. And the exporting of the actual function model that is here amount in words, this become the importing parameter. So this is how we call the function model in a program. Okay, so this is about the app modularization. In our previous program which I created, I also used the modularization concept over there, but that was not reusable code, but it still it is easy to read. If you see our previous report that is ZQD underscore vendor master. So here I have divided the code into a small program. Like say here the perform get data, perform build data, and the display data. Even though my this code is not reusable, but still if we divide the code into small blocks, it is very easy to use. Suppose I want to do something only in the output section. I can directly go here and I can do the changes. Otherwise, if you write the complete code in a straight way, it is difficult to understand. Okay, so always use the modulation technique into our day-to-day -day routine, a back program. Those are the subroutines without any variable parameters. And in this program, I call the subroutine with the parameters. So if you want to create any new parameter, any new subroutine, simply like write type here. There's a perform. Let's say I'm creating new one amount to word underscore one. This time using let's say p underscore amount changing gv underscore word. Save. Now to create this function model uh, subroutine, double click here. Create yes. Select the same include name, program name. This is created. Now inside this, we can write our logic. This is how we create the form and end form subroutine. Okay. So this is all about the subroutine. That is the include program. Second is the form end form. That is subroutine. Third, we have seen about the function model, and last we have seen about uh, the macros okay so in this way we done with the session that is modularization in SAP app thank you